Hey friends, and welcome back. We'll build a Flutter application that integrates Google user authentication. Our Flutter application will consist of a login screen that allows a user to sign in with his or her Google account. So what are the prerequisites? Besides the understanding of Flutter, we'll be using Firebase, but everything that will be taught in this tutorial is entirely beginner friendly. So I'll explain every step of the way. So let's begin. So let's create a new project, Flutter Create User Authentication. And let's proceed to navigate to our project. On lib folder, let's open our main.dat and clear uh, the comments. Clean up our main.dat, delete the homepage class and create a new file called onboarding.dat. And onboarding.dat will create a state class called onboarding. Inside it, we're going to return a scaffold. Let's pass our state class to the home attribute in main.dat. Great, we'll proceed to install the Google, add the Google fonts package by running Flutter pub add. Let's proceed to configure it in the theme in theme data or the theme attribute in the material app. Specify the font family as Google Fonts.poppins dot font family. Great. Now let's run our application. There we have it. We have a clean canvas to start with. Just removing the debug flag. Now let's proceed to design our scaffold. We'll define our body to hold a safe area. So we won't have an up bar in our case. Then we'll define a column that will hold a number of children, starting with a row widget. And in our row, we're going to define a text with the name of Trust Studio. And then we'll just style it, set the font weight to bold. Great. Next. We're going to set the spacer widget so that it will space to create a space between our first text and the button that we're creating, which is an outlined button that will hold the text. Sign up. Let's remove the const. Uh, great. Let's style our outline button. Shape it with stadium border. And give it a background color. And a foreground color. Let's proceed to set padding. Wait. The next child in the column widget will be a circle avatar. The radius of five and a blue background. Let's define the cross axis alignment to dot start. Our next child in the column widget will be a text that says sign in. We'll set the style.
give it a font weight dot bold and a size of 22. Let's set a padding at the top. Next, we're creating another file called onboarding google.dat, which will hold the interface that revolves around Google Authentication. So we'll name our class Google Authentication, return a container, and that's what we're going to pass after our sign-in text. Just import it. Great. Now let's work on that class. So we're going to uh, add a package called sign button that will help us uh, get the design of the button for Google and for the different uh, third parties. So we'll set a child that will call sign in button and the button type will be dot Google. Then we set the on pressed button as you can see, our button has been displayed beautifully. Let's just define the width. And then set the height using the container. And define a padding at the top. With that, we have done our simple design for this uh, section. So let's proceed to the next lesson where we'll configure initialize Firebase to our project.